guys, Bishop Butters here. I'm here bringing you an RPG Maker VX Ace tutorial. This is a complex tutorial involving conditional branches, variables, and switches. This is how to create a companion closeness system where when your companions become closer to you, they gain benefits as a result. I have not yet, I'm using my own game, Forza and the Phantasmial Orbs, and this music that's playing is music that will be in the game. And I have not yet evented this companion Christine, but I have evented Alder in order to show you. This is Alder. Now, as you can see, there's a lot of stuff going on in here, and I'll take you through it step by step. It, for this, you will need a knowledge of variables, conditional branches, and switches. Now, in this particularly, this particular scenario, you gain companion closeness through dialogue. So, do you have choices? Yes or no? That's not the one you ask very well. What do you wish to discuss? As you can see, I have three questions here. How long have you been a paladin? How did you become to be in that town? Whatever. And how long have you been? And as you can see, this conditional branch, this right here, changes very slightly from each question. However, as you can see, there's a certain switch that's on. Let's go to this, and you can see switch 381, Elder CC1, is on. That basically says when that switch is on, this will play, and that's just the dialogue playing as normal. Let me get rid of that. That's That was my own thing. If that switch is not on, the dialogue plays as normal, except at the end of it, it turns on the switch, meaning all this is played for you already. It adds one to a variable, and I'll show you that now. Variable 098, Elder CC. And that's the particular companion closeness value for this guy. When you set the variable, you want to make sure the operation is set to add, and you want to increase it by the amount that you want. For me, I'm using increments of 1 because it's nice and easy. So, as you can see, when this switch is on, the dialogue plays like normal. When the switch is off, the dialogue plays, it turns on the switch, and adds 1 to companion closeness. Now, at the end of each addition to the variable, a conditional branch will play out. The conditional branch here is based on this variable. You need to make sure it's set to equal to, and then you want it to be your benchmark. For example, Elder gains 50 hit points when his companion closes hits 3. Now, if I were to set this to greater than or equal to, every single up he would get in his companion closest would increase his health by 50%, at least in this particular event. That's not what we want. We wanted to just make it so that if he accidentally gains more companion closeness, he does not get additional benefits. And I've structured this so that it's not possible for him to get additional companion closeness points. Now, as you can see, an animation will play on him when he gains CC regardless. If he gets the three, points in it, a text will play that says he has become more comfortable, Your health is, his health has increased by 50%. And that's actually really easy, let's just go to change actor, elder, increase 50. There you go. If the variable is not exactly equal to 3, the animation will simply play, meaning this animation shows you that his companion closeness has gone up. And then all the branches end. And then we do the same exact thing for the second question, except you use a different switch this time. As you can see, right there, right where my mouse is, Elder CC2 is on, which means that's a different switch. Meaning, when that switch is flicked, this dialogue plays as normal. Or else, if it's not on, the dialogue plays as normal, that switch goes on, adds an additional one to the variable, and you play the same exact conditional branch. And then you do the same thing for the third one. As you can see, Elder CC3 is on. As you can see, the dialogue plays as normal. It's a very long dialogue, this one. It's actually pretty important to the storyline. And in, if the switch is not on, obviously, the switch turns itself on. The companion closeness goes up by one, and it checks. And we now apply. And now we're going to play test it to make sure it works. Yes, I do want to see it. Changes. Oh god, I hiccuped mid-recording. So unprofessional. I don't know what all that stuff was. So, anyway. Epic music time. No, I don't want to hiccup. Take it. What is... 
select new game. And all this is storyline stuff, so... And it's not going to make any sense unless you actually play the game. I'm not going to link you to the uh, demo since I'm remaking the demo. The demo is going to be at 1.3 soon. It's in 1.2.2. Anyway. In this sort of situation, you're at the camp. That he basically briefed you on what's going to happen. You can talk to the characters to gain backstory, or you can go to sleep. This companion closeness system is a great way to add incentive to figure out everyone's backstory. For me, my companion closest system, his companion closest will go up, or hers will go up, whenever I get dialogue out of them, or I complete a side quest with them, or I make a choice that they agree with. For example, there's a choice later in the game to free a slave by buying him for a thousand dinars or uh, genrai, which is the unit of money in my particular game. Yet for a thousand genrai, you can buy the slave and then free him, which will increase Christine's and Alder's companion closeness. However, if you choose not to buy him, Alder's companion closeness will stay the same, but Christine's will go down. So yeah, it, it gives you incentive and drives you to make smart decisions and choices. But anyway, more questions. Yes, what do you wish to ask? How long have you been? Blah, blah, blah. Dialogue. Four years. Blah, blah, dialogue you don't care about right now. And, uh, blah, blah. Alright. As you can see, his companion closeness just went up. Do you have more questions? Very well. Let's ask that same question again. Now, if I did this right, there should be no animation at the end. It wasn't my choice to leave. So, blah, blah, blah. Fair enough. See? No animation. Meaning his variable did not go up. Now we go ahead and ask again. Uh, this time it's the second question. Uh, blah 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 blah. Alright, as you can see, his companion closeness went up yet again. Let's try that again, make sure it doesn't go up again. If it does go up again, he'll gain health. Yep, see, nothing. And as for the last one, let's go. Common soldier, blah blah blah, Simon. Priest not frightened, lack of fear baffled, without warning, prey. You get the idea. If you really want to read this, you can pause the video in between. But yeah. He was a great man. Was. You should get some sleep. Alders, become more comfortable with you. Alders' hail is increased by 50. And if, when, if, when I go to sleep, like, say, let's just sleep, yes. He defaults to level 1, I believe, so. And, okay. As you can see, I didn't bother to uh, do it correctly, so. Like, I didn't bother to put the entire, like, party in my screen. But anyway, that's the, uh, way to do it. That's the, uh, way to make a companion closest system in your game. If you want to, you can tweak it yourself. Like, do different things with it. If you already have a good knowledge of variables, switches, and conditional branches, you should be able to take what I've given you here and mold it to your own ways. And if you're a good scripter, who knows? Maybe you've already, you know, compiled a companion closest system. And I just realized... Those trees are horrendous. I need to edit that to that. Oh, dear God. Anyway, this has been Bishop Brothers bringing you another RPG Maker VXS tutorial. If you liked the video, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to me. Make sure to leave me a comment, guys. Take care. Hope this helped.